Welcome to this week's episode of This Week at Endicott. I'm Brianna Marr. And I'm Molly Massey. On Wednesday, CAB will be hosting Minute to Win It games in Lower Callahan. Stop by for games like Mario Kart, Pie Face, and more. There will be free food and the games start at 7 p.m. Also at 7 p.m., Trisha Voss, a Habitat for Humanity international representative, will be speaking in the chapel about her experiences with Habitat and the positive impact that it has on her life. Information for students looking to get involved will also be provided. Then head to the WAX Auditorium for the hilarious lip sync battles that begin at 8 p.m. On Thursday, a representative from the Muscular Dystrophy Association will present on the organization and how students can get involved. The presentation will be held in chapel at 6 p.m. and refreshments will be provided. Then at 6.30, make your way to the Rose Performance Hall for the Intercollegiate Jazz Festival to hear some great music. On Friday at 8 p.m., Late Night Loca is having a chicken finger and mac and cheese bar, so if you're looking for a late night snack, be sure to check it out. Now let's take it to weather with Jill Watch. Wednesday will be mainly sunny with a high temperature of 52 degrees. Winds will be headed north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Moving on to Wednesday evening, we're looking at mainly clear skies and a low temperature of 36 degrees. Thursday, it will be mostly sunny with a high temperature of 49 degrees. These clear conditions will carry over into the night with mild temperatures in the high 30s. Friday, there will be mainly sunny skies with a high temperature of 50 degrees and winds moving north to east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday night will be clear with a low of 36 degrees. Moving on to the weekend, this Saturday will be sunny with a few clouds from time to time. The high temperature for this day will be in the low 50s with temps dropping to a low of 37 degrees with clear skies by Saturday night. This Sunday, we're looking at another sunny day with an all-time high temperature for this week at 67 degrees. Sunday night, there will be a mostly clear sky and a low temperature of 45 degrees. And that concludes this exclusive Weather Watch report. Now back to the desk. Interested in getting involved with a local Habitat for Humanity project? On Saturday, students will be making their way to Ipswich to help with a local North Shore build, and they can use your help. Contact Lori Rawls in the Community Service Office to sign up. Now over to Shake My Head News with Rain and Brooke. Hello and welcome to Shake My Head News. I'm Brooke O'Leary. And I'm Ray Newcomb. In political news, CIA Chief John Brennan says under no circumstances would he comply with any future president that forced his agents to take part in torture such as waterboarding. I guess terrorists don't deserve to be baptized with freedom. Let's just blow them up with drone missiles, much more humanitarian. America. In the world of entertainment, the media was buzzing about Kendall Jenner's shoes at the MTV Movie Awards because really, what else would we be filling our lives with without the Kardashians? Climate change? Elections? Boring. The celeb was dreading the hour it would take her to take off her strappy sandals at the end of the night, almost as long as Kim's first marriage. After failing to catch 67 potential threats out of 70 tests, TSA recently announced a $47,000 endeavor releasing a randomizing app that would tell passengers to go to the left or right lane. $47,000 for a TSA tender. Swipe left or right to be felt up by a stranger you'll never see again. Left, right, left, left. Oh, hold up. Sorry, ma'am. I'm going to have to give you a full pat down. Why? Because it's our business to touch yours. Just today, Starbucks launched a new rewards program. Instead of needing 30 stars to get a free drink, customers will now need to get 300. So let's say you hit 300 points. Good news, your drink is free. That'll be just $2.95 for the cup. Customers continue to complain in outrage while simultaneously handing over their platinum card in exchange for their $6 triple venti with ice soy latte with no foam and free sprinkles of cinnamon. Well, that's all for this week, folks. For Shake My Head, I'm Brooke. And I'm Rain. Have a great night, y'all. Now let's check out the sports recap for the week. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of EC Sports. For ECTV, I'm Jess Carroll. The Endicott baseball team opened up the CCC play on Sunday afternoon at North Field with a doubleheader sweep of Roger Williams by scores of 2-1 to one for Game 1 and 6-3 to three for Game 2. 
Then team swept a pair of, ga a pair of games against Curry College 3-2 for game one and 18-6 for game two. On Monday evening to stay undefeated in the CCC action at Jake Valley Field, Endicott returns in action on Wednesday, April 13th against St. Joseph's at home at 4 p.m. The Endicott baseball team has been picked seventh in the latest NEIBA poll. The Endicott softball team earned a split at Western New England University Sunday afternoon in the CCC doubleheader against Golden Bear Softball Park as the Gulls pulled out a 6-1 victory in Game 2 to give the Golden Bears their first conference loss after falling 3-2 in Game 1. Endicott welcomed Salem State University to its campus for a non-conference doubleheader on Tuesday, April 12th, with the first pitch scheduled for 3 p.m. The Endicott men's lacrosse team fell to the two-time defending NCAA national champion and number three nationally ranked Tufts University Jumbos, 11-10 on Tuesday, Tuesday night in the non-conference action at Bellow Field. Endicott hosts Wentworth this Saturday on Senior Day at Hempstead Stadium at 12 p.m. Tuff welcomes Amherst to its campus this Saturday at 1 p.m. The Endicott men's lacrosse team has been picked 10th in the latest NEILA poll. The Endicott women's lacrosse team held on for a 12-10 victory to down host Salve Regina Tuesday night at Goddick Field in the CCC bout. Freshman midfielder Allie Campbell has been named Commonwealth Coast Conference Women's Lacrosse Rookie of the Week for the week of April 4th to 10th of 2016. Endicott hosts Wentworth on Saturday, April 16th at 3 p.m. on Senior Day at Hampstead Stadium. Salve Regina welcomes Gordon College to its campus for a 7 p.m. start on Saturday, April 16th. The Endicott men's tennis team fell to Nichols College 6-3 in the CCC action on Sunday evening at the South Campus Tennis Courts. Endicott travels to Salve Regina for a conference matchup on Tuesday, April 12th at 3.30 p.m. A big congratulations to the men's volleyball team for winning the NECC conference this past weekend. Three members of the Endicott men's volleyball team have earned postseason honors from the NECC as announced by the league office. Daniel Toth was named to the NECC All-Conference first team for the second straight season, while Cameron Little and John Osborne claimed NECC All-Conference second team accolades to round up the list of honorees for the Gulls. The Endicott men's volleyball team will play number 10 nationally ranked Keene University this Saturday in the opening round of the NCAA tournament in Union, New, Jer New Jersey at 6.30. Good luck, Gulls. Thanks for watching this week's edition of EC Sports. For ECTV, I'm Jess Carroll. On Tuesday, the Endicott College Alumni Association invites students to join them for a night out at Fenway Park. They will be attending a Red Sox versus Tampa Bay game, and seats are located in the center field bleacher. It is $25 to sign up, and spots are limited. Contact Victoria Pilbin, Assistant Director of Alumni Relations, to sign up. Tuesday also kicks off Spring Week, hosted by CAB. From 2 to 6 p.m., there will be various outdoor activities, such as bungee run, aroma beads, and free giveaways around the lakes. Food will also be provided. Let's take it over to ECTV's own Matt Layton with the president of the Autism Awareness Club. Thanks guys. Joining me now is Emily DeBacher, president of Endicott's Autism Awareness Organization. Emily, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for inviting me, Matt. Absolutely. So if some don't know, April is the National Autism Awareness Month. Yes, it is. And um, Endicott is doing all they can to light it up blue to show our support for autism awareness and show that, you know, we're trying to make a difference in that area. That's great. You guys just started in November and you've made a great impact over the only the past few months. What are some events you have done to, you know, spread the autism awareness here on campus? So we are trying really all that we can um, to really make this initiative big. So um, we actually have some great events coming up. Um, next Tuesday, April 19th, we're going to have a swipeable event here on campus mm -hmm. at 630 in the LSB Auditorium. It's called Autism Doesn't Define Me, It's a Part of Me. And a 21-year-old boy and his mom will be coming in to speak about their personal experience with autism, also known as ASD, um, mm -hmm. Autism Spectrum Disorder. And um, he has autism, so he will speak about what it's like to be a person that has ASD. And then his mom will um, talk about how people with autism can live full and enriching lives and how even though Ryan has to conform his behavior yep. to society, um, society has to be more welcoming mm -hmm. and understanding of his challenges and needs. That's great. 
great. Mm -hmm. What is, do you have Thank any you. other events coming up, you know, on campus here? And why are you, how do you choose a particular event you guys want to do? Okay, so um, to answer the first part of your question, we also have another um, event coming up April 27th okay. at 5 to 7 p.m. in Lower Callahan, and we will be um, decorating your own puzzle piece. So students are welcome to come to Lower Callahan, pick any giant puzzle piece they want, mm -hmm. and decorate it with a variety of art supplies, however they see fit. Mm -hmm. And um, then all the pieces will be collected and put together to make one giant puzzle, mm -hmm. and it will be hung up in Lower Callahan representing autism awareness. Oh, really? Yes, it will. That's that's great. Mm -hmm. And representing that each piece of the puzzle is important and everybody is unique and has something special um, to share with society. So anyone's open to come down and paint their own piece to be part of this Of course, the more people the better. We have a lot of puzzle pieces and the more people that come out and support this, the stronger of an event it will be. And um, we also featured, we partnered with Tedexo and with help from Ed the Baker, featured blue color desserts in the dining hall Monday, April 5th oh, wow. to show support, like just to raise awareness mm -hmm. about um, that April is Autism Awareness Month. There's some blue lights featured around campus, especially like in the academic center outside, like near gullies. Mm -hmm. And then also um, the monitor outside public safety and several monitors around um, the buildings also say Endicott College lights it up blue for Autism Awareness Month. And wow. It's also featured on the website with the banner mm -hmm. um, where people can click on the link and it will bring them to the Autism Speaks website so they could learn more about what autism awareness is and specifically what autism is because you'd be surprised a lot of people don't know mm -hmm. um, what it is. And then, you know, we really pick our events. So anything that helps the community or just to raise general awareness. Yep. And also we try to find things that people would be interested in mm -hmm. because we want to raise awareness in a way that is interesting and captures people's attention. And also we want to show that um, autism is an important subject, but that people have to be very accepting. Right. And we want to really stress that people with autism are unique, but everybody is unique in their own way. And so we just have to be more welcoming and open um, to that as well. And so that's why we're having Family Fun Day on April 30th from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 1 p.m. for local families in the community to oh, wow. raise awareness like within the North Shore. And um, families with children on the spectrum could come and we're gonna have a petting zoo, a bouncy house, face painting, multiple arts and crafts stations, an occupational therapist is gonna come. It's really going to be a great event. So we're trying to not only spread awareness within our own Endicott community, mm -hmm. but in the local North Shore community as well. For anyone who wants to get involved but is not sure how to get involved or how to spread awareness of mm -hmm. autism, what do you suggest to those individuals? So I definitely suggest that they join our Endicott Autism Awareness Facebook page. I understand that sometimes it's hard to get to the meetings, mm -hmm. but if they join our page, then they are more than welcome to attend any events. Um, and also they could list their email so that they could stay up to date on mm -hmm. our meeting minutes and because we send out um, minutes after each meeting so they could join the email list. And also um, if they want to learn more about it, there's so much information on the internet. Um, they could go to autismspeaks.org. Mm -hmm. That's like the main, if you want the most relevant, up-to-date information, I would suggest that's probably the best one. Um, and also there's so many organizations outside of the Endicott community, like in the local North Shore, that deal with people that have autism and um, they'd be more than willing to help anybody like understand more, get involved that's great. in helping. What do you see um, moving forward, the growth of the organization? What do you expect to see it for growth? So moving forward, I think that this whole organization will just continue to make massive strides because like you previously mentioned, we've only been up and running since November mm -hmm. and we actually started the week before Thanksgiving. So oh, wow. we, you know, with Thanksgiving and then finals and Christmas break all in the mix, we really have not had a lot of time at all. Mm -hmm. And I know personally, I'm very passionate about this and I want this to be successful and with help from our advisor mm -hmm. and my mentor and professor, Dr. Michael Dorsey. Um, I think between the two of us and the other members of the club and everything, I don't think there's any reason why this club won't continue right. to grow and be successful. And next year's um, Autism Month is gonna be even bigger and there's gonna be even more events than this year. That's amazing, That's, I love the attitude. It's great to see, you know, for only starting out in the first few months, yeah, you've made so many great months. strides. And Thank you. Seeing that you want to go forward is only great to hear. For anyone who might be interested in joining and they haven't done so, 
How can they do? Yeah, so um, they could definitely contact me. My email is edeba534 at mail.endicott.edu. Or um, you could also find us on Facebook. We're the EC Autism Awareness Organization. And you could just click join, and then um, myself or another admin will add you. That's great. Yes. I look forward to hearing what you have planned when we come back in fall. Yes, thank you so much, Matt. Right. Thanks, Emily, for being here. All right, back to you guys. That's all for this week, girls. Thanks for watching.